us through that story. The first story you have to get right, we, me and you together, have to get right for you, is your story. What is your story? What is your story designed to do? It's designed to illustrate what you do and why you do it, but in story format. What you do and why you do it in story format. Now, is it also the case that it's a natural phenomenon that the more you get to know someone, the more of your story you tell them? Is that true? Yes or no, guys? Yes. Come on, guys. Come on, Dubai. Come on. Yes or no? Good, right. So it's natural. But it normally takes you a long time to get to know someone before you start revealing yourself. What we're going to do is we're going to reveal ourselves as strangers and tell our story, but in a way that we only normally do if we trusted someone implicitly for seven months or so. Then we accelerate the process of trust because trust is a two-way street. What do I mean? Meaning, if I tell you my story, and I therefore entrust you with my story about me, then you're then being seen as trustworthy, aren't you? Yes or no, guys? Yes. And trust is a two-way street. Meaning, if I trust you, you will automatically trust me more. Does that make sense? Yes. Raise your hands there. And like I say, you'll probably reciprocate, meaning you will probably open up and tell me your story. And do we need our clients to tell us their story of what's really going on? Of course. In their lives, their business, their relationships, etc. Yes or no, guys? Yes. Yes, because then what happens is it becomes a friendship, not a business. This is important. Okay. So, here's the challenge, though. Most people have got no idea what their story is. Because your story is not your entire life. So we don't have a five-hour epic. You know, we haven't got time. We've got seven to ten minutes to choose what the story is. So first thing I've got to do in university, me and my team, is figure out what your story is. Because there is a good story in there, but we've got to find the right story for the right audience. Then what we've got to do is shape the story in a way that follows the right method for storytelling. And finally, how do you deliver the story in a way that's totally engaging and has people on the edge of their seat? That's what we're going to do. Now, Obviously, that's a whole day's training at the university to do it for you. I'll give you the quick overview of some key aspects now so that you can start using this immediately. So we're using something called the Tri Summit Storytelling System. The reason it's called the Tri Summit is because every great story has three elements. Three. So go ahead in your notes and write, make three mountains because it's called the Tri Summit for a reason. Now, here's what we don't know. Here's what you don't know that it's really powerful to know, is that every great story is the same. Whether it's the Shawshank Redemption, Pretty Woman, Dirty Dancing, Prozers, Lion King, The Greatest Show, I'm here to tell you the stories are exactly the same. Underneath it all. So what is the underneath it all? Here's what it is. Act one is called the problem. Act one is called the problem. Meaning, this is where in act one a problem is established. And if you don't establish a problem in Act 1, you don't have a story. Because all stories are about transformation in the end. So there has to be a problem established early on. Now, what problem should you establish early on? Let us figure it out for you when you come. Because you're not going to know it again. Because you're too close to it. You need someone to look at it and see. So we find out the problem. So let me give you a metaphor along the way. Let me give you a story. Let me unfold a story for you. Let me unpack, as we say, a story you're already familiar with that follows this method, because they all do. The Lion King. Who has seen The Lion King? Let's raise your hand. Right? Now, you might have seen the old one or the new one that came out this, this year. They came out this year again, didn't they? Did you see it? Yeah. Amazing, wasn't it? That new performance. But how did they do it first? And do you know why, though, they released it this year? Or re release You know why? No. Because it's the 25th year anniversary. <laughs> time gets older, the faster. The time gets faster, the older you get. There's no guys. It's 25 years since you first watched the night. Okay, so the problem. What problem is established in Act 1? <coughs> of the Lion King. Well, there's a conflict that's established between the two brothers. Mufasa, the king. Scar, the brother. Why is there a conflict? Simba's been born, he is the problem. That's Act 1. It escalates.
escalate, 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 and it reaches, and it always does, at the very peak of Act 1, right there, it's where there's a loss. Every story has a loss at the end of Act 1, or a setback. What's the loss, or the setback, that happens at the end of Act 1? Who dies? At the end of Act 1. Who dies, guys? Mufasa. Mufasa, right? That's the end of Act 1. Right? That signifies the end of Act 1. Act 2 opens up. It's called the journey. Act 2 opens up. It's called the journey. But here's what happens in the journey. At the beginning of the journey, at the beginning of every journey, Act 2, there's something called the hero's reluctance. The hero does not want to go on the journey. What do they do instead? Depression. <laughs> That's what they do instead. They go into a pattern, a holding pattern. Yes or no, guys? Of inaction, reaction, or wrong action. So Act 2 opens up. There's a state change because it becomes more humorous at this point. Because who comes along? Pumper and Timo. Yes or no, guys? Right. And what happens is that what this leads to, what inaction, reaction, or wrong action leads to, every single time is one of the four Ds. Again, do you see how much stuff is all modulized? Yes or no, guys? Yeah. Four Ds, yes, another UBS, yes, another unibrand solution. That is delay, denial, distraction, or doubt. So, to repeat, the pattern your client is in when they meet you for the first time and might need you. It's because they're inacting, reacting, or wrong acting. And that's causing delay, denial, distraction, or doubt. Does that make sense? Raise your hand if you understand. Yeah. Guess where I know where you are in your story? Who recognises that this, one or more of these, in relation to your career, is exactly where you are right now? Yeah. Raise your hand if you understand. How do I know that? Because we're Because you here. don't come to events unless you're here. <laughs> Which means every part of my marketing message must be into that. So that you go, that's me, I've got to go. That's how I got you here. I spoke into your delay, denial, distraction, and doubt. Does that make sense? Make sure you understand. You want to see some emotional content behind me on stage? It was this contest. Right here. Right? And it inspired you to come. Right? By the way, what this means is, if you now know your clients are experiencing this, you have to speak into this as well. Does that make sense? Because yeah, yeah. guess what? You need to become their act three. You are their act three. I'll come to act three in a second. So, Simba. Remember? I'll mess up. Act two. Act two opens up. He's delaying going back and solving the problem. He's in denial that he's the king. He's distracting himself by living Hakuna Matata. <laughs> He's doubtful he can never face his boss. Yes or no, guys? Yes. yes. Now, there's a special part in every story. The girl. And it happens about here. Right there, about a little, a little almost about a third of the way up that mountain. And that part is called the catalyst. And the catalyst is where something happens that breaks this pattern. Something happens that breaks the inaction, reaction, wrong action, and therefore breaks the delay, denial, distraction, or doubt. As in, it's a break of rapport. Does that make sense? Yes, yes or no, guys? Yes. yes. When Brian Tracy, remember, broke my rapport, I didn't know that 10 years later I'll be shaking his hand again because I'm sharing the stage with him. Right? That's act three. You understand me? Yeah. Right, everybody follow. So you've got to do something in your story that has to break the pattern. Now here's the truth. You've been through this sequence many times. You've been through Act 1 in other times. You've been through Act 2 a few times. You've been through Act 3 a few times. Yes or no, guys? Yes. The question is, how long do you get stuck in Act 2? You can't avoid problems. They happen anyway. Yes or no, guys? Yes. You can't avoid loss. It will happen. But Act 2 can last either a few weeks, or a few years, or a few decades. What is it that determines 
whether you climb the mountain or stay stuck in the paddle. And that is the quality, the depth, and the shockingness of the catalyst. If the catalyst really gets you, now change is a must. Does that make sense? Yes. Raise any other there. If it isn't enough of a catalyst, you slide back down into the holding pattern again. Does that make sense? Yeah. And you guys are right at the precipice of that right now. Because guess what I am for you guys? I'm your catalyst. And you've got to be the catalyst for your clients, haven't you? You've got to be the catalyst for change. But that change starts inside of you. It starts by getting, you can't teach while you're sticking in Act 2. Let me show you how to get into Act 3, so now you can turn around and help people in Act 1 and Act 2 jump up to their Act 3. Does that make sense? Raise any following. So yes? Yes. Fantastic. So what's happened? So he's stuck there. What's the catalyst? In the line, what's the catalyst? It's when he's in the jungle, remember? And there's no food back at home because now the hyenas have taken over with Scar. And Nala, his childhood sweetheart, do you remember his childhood friend, finds him in the jungle. Do you remember yes or no, guys? Yes. Do you remember the moment? Yes. She's like, she find, Simba, Simba, is it really you? And you're alive? Ah, oh, Simba, Simba. <laughs> Can you feel the love tonight? You have seen this, but it's not just me, right? You have seen yeah, yeah. this. <laughs> Alright. And so, it's like, Simba, where have you been all this time? Oh, I've been here. I've been hanging out here. It's, it's really great. It's a great life. Really? But you're the king. You've got to come back. No, no, no. I'm not the king. Maybe I was meant to be, but not now. Uh, I'm Kuna Matata. What? What's that? I, it means no worries. <laughs> oh, you're really ashamed. Yeah, I have it for the better. Come on, Simba. You've got to come back. No, no, no. You stop saying that. You start to sound like my father. <coughs> At least one of us is. That's a pattern that's got right there. What's it called? Reaction. She doesn't know. She can't come here and tell her what to do. She doesn't know what I am. I know what to do though. She's. This is the noisiest keyboard I've ever heard. I've been running this for so long. Why are you giving it away? You said you'd always be there. But you're not. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know. In the trees in the back. Crazy monkey, why are you making. Who are you anyway? No. The question is who are you? I suppose you know. Yeah.
You are my son and the one true king. Remember who you are. Remember who you
in four weeks' time alongside myself, Les Brown, and Nick Vujicic in, uh, in Singapore to an audience of 5,000 plus people. Just like when Karuna Sue said to me, you're on in five minutes. Oh, everything was screaming in my head, I'm not ready in four weeks. But I got her to say yes. Four weeks later, that's her audience. Her biggest audience up to that point was 10 people in the <laughs> in, in, our, in our event. She goes from that to that and nailed it. I'll record the whole thing, I'll show it to you at Speed University, but I'll unpack it as an example of a brilliant well put together story so you can follow the model and do it the same. Does that make sense? And I want to see you on stage with me next time. Do you love to be on my stage or a stage or unbracing it? You and I are there together. Come on, guys, who'd love to do something like that? Wow, fantastic. All right, so here, would you like the results to follow people? Yes, we'd like the results to follow people. Would you like to make 62,500 dirhams in one presentation your first one? Say yes if you would. Yes. Would you like to make 250,000 dirhams after your first event? 